Yo, what is good? My anime people. JoJo's back. And I didn't want to watch it all in one sitting. And then just try to explain how much craziness has happened, right? Um, so, this couple of episodes that I watched is always so reinforcing. Why this show can't be predicted, bro? I understand some characters have to either A, live, B, look cool before dying, <laughs> or C, all of the above, right? And for me, I'm a logical thinker, and I keep trying to put myself in position after learning the, the stands ability, learning multiple things that could be possible, and this new daughter just keeps breaking everything out of proportion. From putting herself into a pole so she can roll herself to get to the opponent. To unraveling herself to go into her friend's mouth while she is also inside of another person. And has other passengers in a side of a person. I can't tell you how much crazy stuff has happened. Because there's three full parts of it, you know? Um, but that that's the brilliance of JoJo. That's the really taking thing from it. Like, knowing that there's so much you can imagine or even try to fathom and think what could happen. And JoJo just says, yeah, no, you're wrong. This is, yeah, no, you're wrong. Sorry, bro. This is what we're doing. This is how it's going. And deal with it type shit, so, it's ridiculously hype, um, it is weird, like I said, there's certain things that the characters have to do before going out, and that happens within these parts, and I'm not gonna say a name just to keep it at least spoiler free, but just know someone who's pretty chill body, but there's also someone else who's that body, and he just didn't get the same kind of animation and stuff like that and it was the pink hair dude i thought he was gone in season two right like there's certain things these characters live through and you're just kind of like nanny and it's good and all until it starts getting way way out of pocket but they still did what they needed to do i feel like with this show which is be innovative um, show us a really cool new protagonist with her strings. It feels like she's not all that strong. Like, when she hits people, they're not staying down. But that is, to be fair, because these are, like, some of the bloodline of Dio. So maybe that's why they're a little bit more amped, and they have a little bit more durability. But it seems like everybody kind of has a stand in her. Unless she's holding back, then she kind of like states that later on. I would understand that, but yeah, it's clear that she's a combat type. But maybe because of the versatility of the strings and how she can survive through many miraculous things, that's why she ultimately is not as strong as just a full on fighter, you know. Regardless, she's been showcasing that her stand is plenty enough and I think that's what actually has me the most interested how does she push herself much further to catch up to this person if he's born and if he is born does she even stand a chance is it going to be some weird plot twist that you have to go back in time before it happens like I don't know but there's still a couple episodes and I hope y'all are looking forward to my review on those I'll probably watch it with the stuff I'm watching Friday and just post it all together. So that being said, hope you'll have an awesome one. I'll definitely talk to you in the next one. Peace.